The remains of the CNMI's eighth governor, Eloy Enos, arrived on Saipan this afternoon, welcomed by local leaders, dignitaries, and a flock of people in a roadside tribute. We turn to PNC's CNMI correspondent, Thomas Menglotnia, for the story. The untimely death of Governor Eloy Enos in Seattle, Washington on December 28 ushered in a new administration and left the CNMI in a state of mourning. The body of the 8th governor of the CNMI and his family arrived at Francisco C. Ada Saipan International Airport at 3 this afternoon, greeted by residents in a public roadside tribute spanning from the airport to Canatabla, Chalanquiza, Beach Road, and San Jose. Governor Ralph Torres announced in a January 6 memorandum that non-critical employees are authorized to take admin leave today at noon and full day on Tuesday as the islands mourn Enos's passing. A holy rosary is expected to be held next Tuesday morning, followed by public visitation, viewing, and last respects by Enos's immediate family at Our Lady of Mount Carmel Cathedral. A mass of Christian burial will be held at 3 in the afternoon, preceding his burial at Chalan Pinoa Cemetery. Local media reports that several dignitaries are confirmed to attend Enos' funeral. Guam Governor Eddie Baza Calvo, Guam Senate President Judith Wanpat, and Guam Mayors Melissa Severas of Dedudo and Carol Tayama of Agate confirm their attendance, according to the administration. Insular Affairs Assistant Secretary Esther Kia Aina, along with several other local and off-island leaders and lawmakers, are expected to join the service. President Barack Obama offered his condolences along with many other leaders, saying that, quote, Enos was a tireless advocate for the Commonwealth of the Northern Marana Islands and its people. We offer our gratitude for his service and our thoughts and prayers for those who loved him, end quote. Enos was 66 years old. Thomas Manglonia for PNC News, Saipan.